Welcome to another Goody Reader review video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And today we're going to review the Barnes & Noble Simple Touch with Glow Light. This is the first e-reader in the world that lets you read in the dark without any accessories like third-party lights or lighted cases and so on. Just to give you a little bit of specs, the screen is 6 inches. The resolution is 600 by 800 and it uses e-ink pearl. This CPU processor is pretty fast at about 800 megahertz and it is running in conjunction with 256 MB RAM as Wi-Fi so you could connect up to your local network. If you're also in a Barnes & Noble store you can actually connect up to their free Wi-Fi networks and download books and read them in the, in the entirety as long as you're actually in a Barnes Noble store. Just one of the little incentives that they have. It reads EPUB and PDF format, and it has two gigs of internal storage, and of course you can enhance it up to 32 via the micro SD. Peter here is gonna show you the sort of 360 of what you can expect with the hardware. All right, uh, first thing you'll notice looking at the front is that the uh, frame around the bezel is now gray instead of uh, uh, charcoal or black on the first generation simple touch so that's pretty much uh, the only design that has changed so we'll just show you a full 360 as Michael said you still have your page turn buttons either for right-handed or left-handed users uh, you have the N you have the uh, little ports here for clipping on a Barnes & Noble case you have a micro USB slot you have a status light. This will tell you if it's charging or running out of batteries or what have you. As Michael mentioned, it has 2 gigs of internal memory and you can upgrade it to 32 via micro SD. If you move over to the top, you have two or more of those clips. And you have the thumbnail power button that allows you to lock and unlock your device as well as turn off and turn on. Nothing on the left. And as I said, the uh, design hasn't changed. You still have this nice rubber hard backing with the embossed N and a very nice grip to it. So you're not going to drop this, especially because it's so light. All Barnes & Noble e-readers are actually running Google Android, which is a step up from the majority of them on the market that are actually running Linux. And this includes the Kindle line of e-readers and many others. In order to check out your settings, all you do is tap uh, the N once and you can get your home, library, shop, search, your glow light or settings. First thing we'll do is check out the library. You can see here that this is our, our library right here and you can simply tap on an ebook to check out the content. Pictures and everything else are showing up okay. So this is fine and well, but how do we actually, you know, change the fonts and, and things like that? Well, it's pretty simple. You just uh, tap in the middle. It brings up a number of features. The first thing you want to do is tap on text. And this will give you the options to make the font larger, smaller. It does it all in real time. So you don't have to exit to check what you did out. It's actually a number of uh, preloaded fonts as well. So if you don't like the standard, you can change it. Uh, you can also change line spaces and margins as well. If you kind of mess up some settings and you don't know how to go back to the default, you can just uh, check mark publisher's default and go to the way that it was intended to look. So not too bad. There are a number of options as well to, uh, you know, take notes and things like that. You can uh, hold your thing on a specific word, highlight, add notes. You can share, and uh, you can share this with people on, you know, Facebook and Twitter once you register your accounts. Uh, one of the cool things about the, the Nook Simple Touch is when you register your Twitter and Facebook account, uh, you can uh, share you know specific passages add them to your timeline you can add them as like your status updates uh, there are a lot of cool features as well such as uh, Nook Friends and Lend Me and this will allow you to uh, lend books uh, to your friends that also have Nook e-readers so it's a kind of a cool little feature if you don't have any friends that have uh, Nook e-readers you can check out lendingebook.com and make new friends and 
you know, both share the books that you've purchased that are lending enabled and uh, borrow books completely for free. So this is kind of cool little feature. I like the point that it's pretty damn responsive. And this is why uh, the Nook Simple Touch e-readers are constantly at the top of our uh, best uh, list for the best e-readers on the market. Just because you can see Peter here is just, you know, messing around with like highlighting things and it's going super fast and this is what we like when we see e-readers the the responsiveness is huge i mean it only has an 800 megahertz single core processor but you can see everything's super fast so this is the e-reading experience that you could uh, ex you know do on a, the nook simple touch let's check out the store because the bulk of your time will probably be both shopping for books and reading books you can see here that it's condensed pretty well, um, considering it's just a six inch screen. It's pretty ergonomic in the way everything's uh, set up. You can see the top 100 books, New York Times bestsellers, new releases, but you could also expand upon that list here. There's, uh, you know, different pages here. If you want to see more trending books, you can click select all, check it all out here. You can see the touch screen refresh is pretty fast. And this is also what I really like to see. So there's no shortage of books in terms of both paid books and free books. Uh, Barnes Noble has hundreds of thousands of you know books available. You can search by authors. You can search by you know particular book titles. But it, it's pretty um, intuitive in in terms of the way that it's all, like all set up. There's not a whole lot of pictures to slow everything down if you're in Wi-Fi. Most of it is text. So it's pretty simple and you can find all the latest, you know, bestsellers and stuff like that. So not only that, but there's also magazines and uh, newspapers as well. So you're not just limited to ebooks, but you're also, you can get a lot of other periodicals in there. Uh, the, the main uh, feature is the glow light feature. And here you can actually configure the luminosity of it. So the glow light right now is off if you wanted to turn it on you can see here that it is glowing uh, the light it actually is emitting through eight different LED lights and they're built into the bezel in here much like uh, the infrared touchscreen is uh, the Nook line of e-readers doesn't use screen touchscreen but it uses infrared so you can imagine along the sides here infrared grids all over the place and that's what really makes it so responsive in a, a touchscreen point of view uh, what we're going to do right now is just turn off the studio lights and show you the glow feature uh, on here so you can see the lights are completely off and it actually makes it pretty easy to uh, read uh, in the dark. So that's it with the glow light feature on, off, hold down on the end for two seconds and it's now on. So with uh, the Barnes & Noble Simple Touch with Glow, it really changes the way that you could use your e-reader. Most people, myself included, you read at night, you read in low light conditions. Uh, in the past, you needed bulky lights in order to read in the dark, or, or cases as well with lights built into it. Those became bulky and encumbersome. With this, the light is built you know, pretty well right into the device. So this is actually a little bit lighter than the original Nook Simple Touch, which I don't know how they actually made it lighter with the actual lights built into it, but that's the way that it is. Uh, in the end, I really like the Seed Reader. I find that it's the most responsive one on the market. It also plays friendly with a lot of other formats. Uh, I mentioned before, it uses EPUB and PDF. So what this allows you to do is shop on other sites. So you could buy ebooks from Kobo, from Smashwords, and from various other sites, and then use Adobe Digital Editions to transfer the content over. You can also borrow ebooks via OverDrive. So the sky's the limit. You're just not locked into doing business with uh, Barnes Noble, but you can do business with any other uh, bookseller. Uh, final thoughts, Peter. 
Um, I really love the device. I'm glad they didn't change too much of the styling. I'm glad they didn't really do anything to the specs or anything like that because, you know, why don't fix what, what isn't broken, right? Uh, I'm, I love the simple touch as it was. I'm loving the glow light even more. The fact they give you a charger, um, the, the built-in glow that you don't need a, a glow light now or a, um, uh, you know, third-party book light and a screen protector all in one for the same price as the simple touch started out as way back then is amazing and um i'm really glad they didn't try to create a new device rather than they did with um just adding on to this one so i i would give it even a higher mark than the simple touch and i love that one so much so it's just it's it's perfect it's very responsive it's very light as michael said it's lighter i don't know how they did that I love it. All right, so the Barnes Noble Simple Touch is available in the U.S., although if you live outside the United States, the only way to get your hands on this is to order it through shopereaders.com. So it's www.shopereaders.com, and uh, they will ship to any country in the world. So Barnes & Noble themselves does not ship outside the U.S., so that's the only way that you can get it. This probably receives some of the highest marks in e-readers that uh, we've ever seen, so you really do want to uh, check this out and see for yourself. Uh, stay tuned to our other video uh, videos on our YouTube channel where we will compare nighttime reading with the iPad, the Amazon Kindle Fire, as well as a Nook Simple Touch with a book light just to show you the distinctions between LCD tablets as well as e-readers with book lights to give you an indication on whether this e-reader is right for you. So for goodyreader.com, and a review of the Barnes & Noble Simple Touch with Glow Light. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And everybody take care.